Hi guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here and this week on my Five Ways to series we are going to tackle the fridge freezer. So here are five ways to making the best of your fridge freezer. Number one, type and size. If you are on the market for a new fridge freezer, there's a few things you should take in con into consideration. First, just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better. I have always wanted a big American style fridge freezer, even though we're a small family of three and have no need whatsoever for it. The main reason that has stopped me from buying one before is we live in military accommodation and most houses do not have the space for a fridge freezer that size. So I have never ventured into buying one and I'm kind of glad I did because the one I have is plenty and I'm going to show you a bit later on how I make the most of it. So consider that when buying a fridge freezer. Do you really need it to be that big? The bigger it is, the more energy will take to keep cold and frozen for the freezer. So think of that as well. Something else to consider when buying a fridge freezer is to go for the frost free version. Now these are more expensive, but I think they will save you money in the long run. You won't have to waste your time trying to find a place to put all your food so you can defrost your freezer because the ice is taking over it. It will also give you more space because if you buy a non-frost free one, the, the, the ice tends to take over your shelves, right? The last thing to consider when buying a fridge freezer is its efficiency. Your freezer and fridge are on 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day. So you want to make sure you go for one that has A plus rating so it is more energy efficient and therefore saves you money. Number two, keep it clean. Before I go shopping or I get my groceries delivered, I give my fridge freezer a once over. One, to see what's in there and two, to make sure I take out anything that's no longer edible. I also make sure I give it a wipe down, especially the vegetable crisper. I like using my multi-purpose homemade cleaner. You can use whatever you like and just a microfiber cloth to just wipe down any spillages or bits of food. I also make sure that whenever I open my fridge, if I see something that's spilled or messiness, I clean it immediately. It takes a few seconds and it prevents me from having to do a big job. Number three, keep it smelling good. Now I have a small jar of bicarbonate of soda that I keep in my fridge door and that traps all the bad smells. Now if you have food decaying in your fridge, that's not going to help it. You need to get rid of the food, but I find sometimes that smells linger. So having the bicarb of soda really, really helps. I choose to change it on the first day of every month, mainly because it's an easy date to remember. And also I get a big delivery of food on that day. So it's easy to do it and readiness for all the food. You can also use ground coffee, just put it in a bowl and sit it in your fridge. Or you can also buy fridge deodorizers. I'll put a link to the ones I've used before that I've really liked. But to be honest, I stopped buying them once I started using the bicarb. Number four, meal planning. I meal plan for my family every week. Therefore, I just order the food that I need to feed us for that week only. I do have a little bit extra meat and veg in the freezer just in case you know if some guests come unexpectedly or I can't get to the shops as quick as I can as I want I have got enough frozen. I have literally little to no waste of food every week. I also make sure to keep an eye on everything that's in the fridge every day when I'm about to make dinner I have a look around and make sure that nothing is going off or if I see something that's close to going off, then I'll cook that first. 
A great tip is also to keep leftovers at eye level. So when you open the fridge, they're the first thing you see, so you can use them straight away instead of being in the back of the fridge and you find them three weeks later. And finally, number five, it's organizers in my fridge. So for this, I'm just going to show you and walk you through what I have. So this is what my fridge looks like at the moment. Okay, I love these here and they're ideal because my fridge has these slats. It's easier because things just fall through. So I keep any yogurts in there. And then here is just random stuff. I love, as you guys, if you guys follow me, you know that I'm changing everything to glass and I'm loving these containers. And what I've done is I've added a chalkboard label and I write what's in it and eat by what date. And these, and then when I put them in the dishwasher, the dishwasher usually takes away the chalk. And if not, I can just use a magic eraser to get rid of it and it's reusable. I prefer to put it on the lid. So if I want to use these in the oven, I can without having to worry about it. I love having cooked eggs ready for snacks for us and all I do is I put them in this little egg holder which I've had for years and I also write on them the C for cooked and what date they, they were cooked. In the UK you do not need to keep your eggs in the fridge. I, You guys have seen them loads of times just hanging around over there but I have space in my fridge so why not keep them in there just out of the way so i just keep there you go this basket this one is from ikea i'll again i will link everything below and then here you are leftovers at eye level again with the label or when to eat them by and i also love using jam jars or this type of jar which will kill the jars to keep passata and my veggie stock. This is things that I use a lot. And then on this shelf, I use this curve basket to keep any meat. And today I've just got the meat that I'm gonna to cook tonight, which is chicken. And it keeps it nice and separate. There is no risk of contamination juices everywhere. I keep extra drinks there. And then on my first crisper, I just keep dairy products so cheese and butters that kind of stuff and then I keep vegetables in the other in the vegetable ones I like putting in some paper towels so it absorbs any moistures and I change those towels at least once a week and then on my door here is my jar of bicarbonate it's an Ikea spice jar and I leave those little holes open so you can absorb it and then I've just got some condiments there. And I'm loving, even though I'm trying to stay away from plastic with those, I love these. Using these bottles meant that I can keep most of my day-to-day -day, um, condiments and lemon juice and all that kind of stuff in one place. It, otherwise, it would not fit all in one of these little trays because they're different sizes and all that. And then finally on the door, I keep drinks that we're using. We're missing a bottle here for soya milk, which is in the wash. And I absolutely love, 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 love these bottles. I've had them for over a year and I've just popped them. When they're empty, I just pop them in the dishwasher and they come out sparkling clean. I got these from Amazon and again, I'll leave a link for you guys. And finally, my freezer this is how it's organized at the top i have the fun stuff lollies ice cream and chocolate buttons there and then on the first tray i keep all my vegetables and i decant the vegetables into the ziploc bags which means that none of it you know when you open a big bag of i don't know sweet corn and there's loads goes everywhere because they don't have ziplocs on them 
so I reuse them as well once this is empty I'll wash it out and I'll use it again for all the next time so I have all my veggies and smaller stuff here as well and then this is where I keep my bread and any um, cooked food now we are going camping at the weekend so this is here in preparation for that and I've got some food some sloppy joes <coughs> excuse me and as you can see I'm using jam jars to portion it out and it works a treat and then finally at the bottom I keep all my meat and fish when not in use I just keep some of my organizers on top of the fridge inside of that tray over there but I just thought I would show you my favorite one which I'm not using at the moment which is this this is a meat cold meat organizer so you can see there's three two three and you can use just the one just the two or just the three and i love having say ham chorizo and i put cheese on top it's not meats but i'm quite happy that they won't cross contaminate and that's it you guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope this helps you at all in keeping organized and um, thank you so much for watching as usual if you're new please press the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos and I would love to hear any other tips that you have of making the most of your fridge freezer until next time ta for now bye